The Seven Star Greninja Terror Raid event is back for a second round in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So it has come round once again. The Greninja, this is the second time that we're going to have this available in our games for a very short period of time. It is running from this weekend as of recording this video on the 10th of February and we'll be running right through until the 12th, which will be Sunday evening. And if we hop over to Cerebi, we can take a quick look at all of the details. Just to remind you, if you missed the event the first time around, the Greninja ninja will be level 100 it will have the poison terror type tied to it it will be no other terror type and it will have the mightiest mark you can only catch one of these per save file so bear that in mind but then you can repeat these terror raids to get access to the very good item drops that you get from defeating the greninja it is shiny locked so you cannot catch this greninja in this specific event then in its shiny form but you can catch it and then breed it down to get a shiny froakie and then hence get a shiny Greninja. The moveset it will have is Gunk Shot, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Night Slash, and the additional moves it will have Toxic Spikes and Double Team, and then the item drops, which you've already mentioned, are extremely good. You're gonna get a lot of XL candies from this particular raid event. You're gonna get a bunch of Carbos as well as Terror Shots, the Poison type ones, and you're gonna get Toxic Spikes as the TM drop, so you'll have plenty of those if you farm this raid. You're gonna have the chance to get an Ability Patch as well as as an ability capsule and bottle caps and then a few other higher cost items like your shards and nuggets so really good item drops from this Greninja raid event and alongside that you're going to get the spotlight terror raids of Lucario uh, in four and five star raids alongside Bronzong as well so that is all of the information like I say it is running from February the 10th until the 12th of February and this will be the last time this event is appearing for now in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet so once you are in game, all you're going to want to do is come down to your pocket portal and then connect to the internet. And then after this, come down to your mystery gifts here and then you will go down to check pocket portal news. Once that has updated, it will update all of your terror raid event dens in the region and you'll be able to come onto your map and identify the seven star terror raid den which will look like a six star terror raid den but it will be there we go there is our poison one as you can see there on the map you just mark it with a marker and here we are we've arrived at the raid event den like i say it will be a big black crystal looking like this and you can use a multitude of pokemon to take on this raid den with we covered in the last video that slow bro was probably the most consistent Pokemon that you can go into this raid den with. But for today's video, we've got a few more builds for you to have a look at. I think starting off for those of you that have never seen the Slowbro before, just to kind of quickly cover this one. So Slowbro is going to have a modest nature. You need to obviously give it a modest nature mint. Going to have that psychic terror typing as well and the item leftovers. And then an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 special attack. You can go for a different EV spread if you like 252 HP 252 defense works as well but I don't really feel like you need it going into this Greninja raid and then the moveset of slack off iron defense nasty plot stored plot the idea is just to get those iron defenses boosted up two plus six so using three of them then your nasty plots and then use the stored power which benefits from the amount of boosts that you've got on your own stats and use slack off as and when you need it the ability on slow bro doesn't really matter for this specific raid but that is overall the slow brawl that I would say is the most consistent going into these raids and for all of the builds just to let you know they are all detailed down in the comment section below so you can check out the builds a little more in depth if you would like now the next one is going to be Vaporeon one of my all-time favorites we did feature it on a solo video in the first time Greninja came around this has got the psychic terror type it definitely helps out when you do get to that stage of using your terrestrialization gives you that extra power that you need not essential though uh, going with the leftovers i am on this one because i feel like the recovery is super nice here although you can change the item up if you would like to go with mystic water a life orb or something like that because there is the option on this vaporeon 
to go for something like aqua ring which we've got here now you are going to make sure that it does have a modest nature i haven't actually changed the nature on this vaporeon yet but give it a modest nature make sure it has the ability water absorb and then an ev spread of 252 special attack 252 defense it doesn't need the investment in hp it's got a huge hp stat already so you really want to benefit the other stats that you've got on vaporeon aqua ring like i've said it gives us a form of recovery on top of the left over so it keeps us really fresh throughout our battles calm mind is an option for us to boost our special attack and special defense and then acid armor as well which boosts our defense stat by two stages every time we use it and then stored power a little bit like the slow bro is the option that we're going to use on this vaporeon in a very consistent pokemon you're not going to have many problems using this vaporeon and it doesn't have the dog type weakness like the slow bro does so really overall probably a more consistent option now another option is the old iron hands i'm bringing this up because it's something that probably most trainers have already trained up and it's an easy one to take into these raids give it the citrus berry make sure it's got an adamant nature max out its hp evs and its attack evs as well and then give it the moveset belly drum thunder punch drain punch and earthquake i guess drain punch gives you a form of recovery thunder punch is just there as a filler but you're really only going to be using belly drum and then earthquake obviously drain punch when you do need a little bit of recovery does help out there as well citrus berry just helps you at that initial turn that you set the belly drum up because it is cutting your hp in half and to maximize the damage output on this iron hands you could change its terror typing to ground as well so also all of the pokemon that we're covering i do forget to mention sometimes but it goes without saying they're all level 100 and they do have all of their ivs maxed out so all bottle capped hyper train just to let you know and the last option is going to be king gambit a very good pokemon obviously that steel type in resists the poison type attacks it is dark so it resists the dark type attacks it only needs to worry about the water type attacks from the greninja we'll give it the shell bell item we've given an adamant nature as well and then an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack. You could go for 252 HP and probably more optimal to go 252 special defense just to give you a little bit of a buffer against the Greninja special attacks that it will be throwing out, i.e. the Hydro Pump. The moveset that we're going to go for is Sword Stance, Snarl. Snarl is a great move because it reduces the special attack stat on the Greninja every time you use it and it will hit through the shield as well when that is in effect because that goes up pretty early on in these matches. Iron Defense is just going to give you a little bit of a buffer to your defense stats if you want it. And then Kotor Cleave is going to be your main option to be damaging this Greninja with. We're going with the ability Supreme Overlord here because every time that a partner in Pokemon gets knocked out, you're going to get a boost to your attack and special attack, meaning that if you're in it solo, lots of your partnering Pokemon are going to get knocked out. So you're going to get a lot of boosts with this ability, probably the most optimal ability to use in this raid event. Uh, you could go for Define, but it's not really going to benefit you that much where Supreme Overlord will be the more optimal play. Going with the Shell Bell item, like I say, and Dark Terror Typing on it just to give you a boost to Kotor Cleave when you do get to the point when you need to terrestrialize. So they are the four options. I'm going to have a lot of fun, and it's nice to go over some different options. Of course, there is things like Klefki, things like Toxicity, things like Toxicroak, Clodsire, Gastrodon that all do really well against these Greninja Raid Dens, and it's good to mix it up just to keep you kind of interested but the more consistent options if you are just going for these item drops and trying to farm many of these high priced items as possible while you've got this event active in your game then the slow bro vaporeon are probably the pokemon that you're going to want to choose to go into these dens with slow bro for me personally i never had a problem the only things that you're really worrying about is if the double teams kind of catch you out and you do end up missing a lot more moves and the timer runs out or the critical hits that can be a little bit of a problem whereas Vaporeon only needs to worry about the double teams really because the critical hits even at that stage aren't really been a problem for it not having any super effective attacks coming onto it. I would love to hear what you have been using in your games and obviously if you want to get the raid den back again then you all you need to do is then come into your home menu then come down to system settings down into system then down into date and time click into date and time and just click right through the options hit okay and then come back into your 
home menu back into your game and you'll see all the dens will change around and you'll be able to locate that seven star raid event den again head to it and then just farm this method over and over and over again until the event ends and remember as long as you don't go online again after you've updated your terror raid dens in your game this event will stay in your game until the next time you go online so you can literally keep it in your game and farm these event dens over and over and over again until you've got as many xl candies poison terror shard candies and everything else until you want to kind of go online and do something else so it's a great event for farming items so that is everything that i wanted to cover in today's video i hope you have fun with this greninja raid event now it has come back around obviously we'll have another new event next week on the channel that we'll be covering but let me know what pokemon is your favorite to go into this greninja raid den with and beat it hope you have a lot of fun with it friends and you found this video useful if you have do drop a like it really does help out the channel subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any of these videos when these events do drop and i will catch you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye